All right, so we've downloaded the data we're going to use for our image analysis. Now we're going to get things set up in Python. So I'm here at OpenPyCharm. I'm in an old project that I've been working on some other tutorials with. What I want to do is do file. I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to save this one uh, in my Python tutorial section. Uh, I'm going to call it image analysis py. And I'm going to check the interpreter. I'm going to make sure my interpreter is set up to my Anaconda 3 Python installation, which is right here. If you need more instructions on this, go check out my GeoPandas tutorials. Um, at the beginning of that, I have how to set up Anaconda. And I will try to remember to link the video um, above in the cards and below in the description. And then I'll say create this new project. And I'm just going to create it in a new window here. So now I have this empty project. I'm going to create um, a new Python file. And we will call this one. Um, we'll just call it first analysis. And this will just get us started. And now I'm going to zoom in here for you. What you want to do is you want to make sure you can do import gdal and you should have autocomplete show that that pops up and you should be able to type gdal open and uh, have the autocomplete show up and not get an error um, showing that doesn't exist okay now if you have not installed gdal yet I'll show you how you can do that really quick so you're going to want to go to your anaconda prompt Oh, this is Anaconda 2, so I went to the wrong one. So let's go to Anaconda. I'm using Ana I'm using Python 3, so I'm going to open my Anaconda 3 prompt. You're going to type conda install gdal and hit enter. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. If you're not sure if you have gdal installed or not, and you look, you try to type it into your you're into PyCharm you're not sure, you can do type conda list within this prompt to get a list of the installed packages. And then you can look and see if GDAL is one of those packages. If you've been following along my other tutorials and you've uh, been working on the GeoPandas tutorial and you have GeoPandas successfully installed, then GDAL is also installed because GDAL is a dependency of GeoPandas. So there's going to be an alphabetical order here. This is the list of packages that are installed. Um, I'm just going to go up here, and there's GDAL. So it tells me GDAL is installed, and then I have the version number that I'm at. This is kind of an older version. I think GDAL is up to 3.1 now. But we're not going to do anything crazy in here. So if you have an older version, you're still going to be okay. All right, so make sure you have GDAL installed. Make sure, like I said, that you can import GDAL. Um, if you're, you should have your IntelliSense, your autocomplete working, and you should be able to do GDAL.open, and that should pop up. Okay, so that should get us set up to start writing some code that's going to open up those raster bands and those image files in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more image analysis. As always, you can check out more on opensourceoptions.com where I have paid courses and free tutorials.